everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Jordan. Today is another what I eat in a day. We're keeping it plant-based, but I am eating today inspired by the Mediterranean diet. I'm not gonna go too much into the benefits of a Mediterranean diet. I think it's pretty popular though for heart health, cancer prevention, chronic disease prevention, a lot similar to a plant-based diet in many ways. I'm really inspired by some Mediterranean diet recipes that I've been finding, and I just kinda wanna eat in the way that the Mediterraneans do for a day. So I compiled a bunch of different recipe ideas, and I'm trying them out today for breakfast that I had a yogurt bowl. So many people in the Mediterranean do consume dairy products. So they have their fresh yogurt with some nuts and some honey on top. So I did my plant-based version of that. So I did some whole almond milk yogurt, just plain unsweetened. I added some flaxseed for a little extra fiber. People in the Mediterranean tend to consume berries, pomegranates, plums, lots of like really hearty wild fruits like figs, cherries, are also really popular. So I had some frozen raspberries, so I went for that. Some hearty nuts, so I used some chopped cashews, walnuts, and hazelnuts, but you could also use seeds, and some almond butter because I love my almond butter. That all went into my beautiful yogurt bowl. For lunch, I'm also sticking with our Mediterranean theme and I'm roasting up a bunch of vegetables and we are roasting up some fennel. So I don't have fennel very often, but it's definitely popular in Greece and Italy and all those countries and it tastes amazing when you roast it. It's very like pepperminty licorice tasting, but when you roast it, it really brings out the sweetness. It's not quite as bitter. So this is a really popular vegetable, as well as eggplant, any root vegetables, lots of hearty, hearty leafy greens. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm just gonna chop up the fennel, and you do have to clean it first, so I'm just gonna take the top off and the bottom. I do you wanna take off this outer layer, kind of like an onion. Then you just want to slice it up. I want to make it about the same size as my carrots, so I'm just going to chop it into some strips. Look at these beautiful vegetables. I've just got it on a lined sheet pan. I'm going to toss the vegetables with some extra virgin organic olive oil. Try to find good quality olive oil. So people in the Mediterranean tout the fact that they consume a lot of extra virgin olive oil, yet they tend to have the lowest rates of heart disease and chronic illness. So we are going for the olive oil today. Just simple salt and pepper. veggies just went into the oven at 375 for, I set the timer for 30 minutes because I think in the last 10 minutes I'm going to add some chickpeas and get some chickpeas nice and roasted. In the Mediterranean diet they get most of their protein from beans, legumes, and lentils just like we do in a plant-based diet. They do tend to consume fish but it's really only twice a week and you know what guys it's not a whole lot of whole grains. I was really interested to find that in the Mediterranean diet, it's really, truly 75% vegetables. So grain dishes are usually grains stuffed inside a vegetable, like stuffed in eggplant or stuffed in peppers or stuffed in a tomato. It's usually vegetables that are the star of the show. Look at this beautiful bowl I just created. So this is on a bed of watercress. There are the roasted veggies, the fennel, the carrot, and the chickpeas. I added a dollop of honey, uh, hummus. <laughs> I added a dollop of pesto. This is a vegan pesto. You guys have got to find this brand if you're vegan. Seggiano, I buy it from Whole Foods. It doesn't have any Parmesan cheese in it. Oh yeah. And then I also mm. added a drizzle of just this balsamic vinegar and I am gonna go eat this up. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I almost forgot. 
Also having one piece of bread on the side. This is a gluten-free bread by the brand Food for Life. They just enjoy one small piece of good quality bread with their meal. And I think it's mainly just to sop up all of what's left over of the olive oil at the end of the meal. So that's what we're gonna do. I didn't get to tell you guys after I ate my lunch because I was running late for work and I literally only had like five minutes to eat, which sucked because that was literally the best lunch I have made in months. Like not counting restaurants, that is the best lunch I have made for myself in so long. Like I'm so inspired and like, oh my gosh. Good to have olive oil back in my life. I have to say my like digestion feels really good today, so I don't know. This Mediterranean diet thing may stick, but right now I've got some water boiling and what's a Mediterranean diet without pasta? But see, the thing is with the Mediterranean diet, pasta is a side. It's not the main. So it's again, much more about the vegetables. So this pasta is going to be full of veggies. I am using this brand, Ban Banza, Banza. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's chickpea pasta. It's just made from chickpeas. So again, we are going for lots of beans, legumes, because that's what they consume. Jack's adding my pepper. Oh, here we go, here we go. You have no idea. You've been hiding all these skills from me and I've been cooking for you this whole time. You're cooking more often. You're cooking more often. Sauteing half of an onion, it'll just take a few minutes for that to cook down. I just added a little salt and pepper and I do have some avocado oil in the pan, but not a lot because this is non-stick. Adding in some frozen chopped artichokes. Artichokes are a main vegetable staple in the Mediterranean diet, so I wanted to make sure to include them in one of my dishes, and I thought, what better than pasta? But they're so versatile, and I wanted to show you how I get my artichokes. I buy them frozen. These are from Trader Joe's, but I've seen them in many freezer sections, and they're just frozen artichoke hearts, and that's the only ingredient. I like getting them frozen if I can, instead of in a can or in a jar, because a lot of times they're packed in oil or water and lots of salt and like different like preservatives and things like that. So I try to get them frozen because they taste the freshest to me that way. And then they're kind of like a blank slate for me to add to other dishes. So like chewy and their texture is just so good added into so many different things. I think it's a vegetable that we forget about a lot. And the other great thing about artichokes is they are such a great prebiotic. So they feed those good bugs in your gut so well. They're one of the best vegetables for gut health. They're also full of fiber. We are going to add some kale. Any hearty green is a major staple in Mediterranean cuisine. And a lot of times they'll even have like a salad on the side in addition to a vegetable filled dish. Again, we're bulking up this pasta with lots and lots of veggies. So literally the ratio is gonna be like 50% pasta, 50% veggies. I am using a store-bought sauce, but this is a very good quality one. It's Rayo's Homemade, their all-purpose tomato sauce or marinara sauce. Let me show you the ingredients. So super clean product of Italy. It's just so great to get that authentic Mediterranean or Italian flavor without having to stew your own tomato sauce for hours. Do you like it? Oh, 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 I am so 
excited to eat this. I've really enjoyed this day of Mediterranean diet style eating. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'll leave some resources and like, sorry if you can hear Jackson walking in the background. I'll leave some resources and some blogs that I've been looking at down in the description below if you are interested. But I also wanted to share one last final tip. So the Mediterraneans use much smaller plates and smaller bowls than we do, which is why they probably enjoy their food more and consume less. I put our pasta in our cereal bowls tonight. It still feels like you're getting a full bowl of pasta, but you're not ending up eating as much. So it's just kind of like a little brain trick because whether or not you're trying to lose weight, we all hate that feeling of feeling like uncomfortably full. It's just not good for our digestion. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how it goes. That will be everything that I am eating today. I'll probably do a cup of herbal tea later on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, definitely let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you want to see more what I eat in a days. And subscribe because I upload once a week. And I think that's everything. I'll see you guys next time for another one. Bye!